And then my big thing of not allowed. Hi, welcome back. So because I'm going paleo, I thought before I did my big shot, I would go through my cupboards and fridge and I thought I'd bring you kind of on the trip with me. Um, so I just pulled everything off my shelf here, um, put it on the table so it's easier. Um, so right off the bat, something that's out is crackers, because um, they're wheat and actually I should probably put this out. Um, this is granola, so that's gone. Um, peanuts. Peanuts are actually not paleo because they are a legume, which apparently doesn't digest as well as other things. Um, so they're out. Um, almonds are good, so we'll keep those. I'll put those back on the shelf. Um, sliced almonds, same thing. Um, banana peppers. I they're technically a pepper, so technically they're okay, but they're processed and in some sort of brine, so I'm gonna go with no, just because of the brine. Um, but the, if they were fresh peppers, it would be totally okay. Um, so I'm just going to put those aside. Um, this is a big thing of chicken soup mix. Um, so that's definitely out. It's very processed. Uh, I'm just going to check to see about the hot pepper rings, and I'm pretty sure... Yeah, it doesn't even come up. So that's okay. I'm just going to say no because they're in a brine of some description. Uh, raisins, they're good because they're grapes, but you should limit your dried fruit because as it's dried, the sugar content increases, so it's okay in limited quantity. So I'll put that back up there. We have oats, um, which aren't good because they're grains. Uh, sunflower seeds, these are great. They're seeds and nuts. Those are good. Um, I have pumpkin seeds and chia seeds here. Both seeds, so both are good. So we'll go back up here. Um, olive oil is good. It's olives based um, from olives, which are allowed. So olive oil doesn't fit on my shelf. Okay, and then we have some G2s that I bought for my son Michael when he was sick. So we are just going to keep these on hand in case it happens again. So we'll move on to the cover. Um, a lot of this is going to be a no-go. Um, it's a lot of grains, a lot of pasta, just a lot of stuff I can't have. Uh, first off is goldfish. My son's favorite goldfish actually are the pretzel ones. Um, tuna, I have lots of tuna, I have some here, and some here, both of which are good. They both can go on the shelf. Um, chicken noodle soup, I have a whole bunch of them, and they're not good because there's noodles and it's processed. So this is going to go back into the cupboard once I'm done. Um, let's see, what is it? Couscous, it's a grain. I believe. Yeah, it's a grain. There's pictures of grain on it. Um, this is out, either way. Um, food coloring? I don't have food. Um, these are sidekicks. These are out because they're all pasta and they're processed. Now, are you going to leave the stuff in there that we're, that is out and stuff that's in you're we're, we're taking out putting on the shelf? Is yeah. that what we're doing? Okay. Um, I'm just showing the shelf. In yeah. There. Uh, so pasta from my son for his lunches. We also have some chicken broth, which I am using as a pasta seasoning. I'm not really sure, um, but I'm using it. Um, believe it or not, this is alcohol, and that's out. Um, but I've had that for a very, very long time. Um, tomato soup is out because it's processed, more pasta, more pasta, more soup, more soup, 
pasta sauce prepared with crushed tomatoes and olive oil. This is where it gets tricky because even though it is processed, it depends on the ingredient list. Um, so like added sugar is a no-go. And the third ingredient is sugar, so this is out. Um, Alfredo sauce is obviously out because it's dairy based. Um, more chicken noodle soup, some toothpicks. Um, these are, once again, I bought these for my son when he was sick. Four cheese, that's out. Um, red wine vinegar. I have no idea. The ingredient is red wine vinegar. I will have to look this up. And let's look it up. Red wine vinegar is good. So we'll put that with on the shelf. Um, so we have a tomato and basil classico. So same as the other one, I'm going to check the ingredients. Yep, no added sugar, so I can use this one. So I'm going to put that on the shelf. Oh. So this is basically just pure sugar. I'm just not even going to put it back in the cupboard. I'm just going to throw this out. Um, ground cinnamon I can use. Um, it's a seasoning. So that's going to go on the shelf. And then some toy. Um, so going down here, we have some barbecue sauce, which is processed. So that's a no-go. Um, Pam. I'm going to use it anyway, because it's so helpful. Uh, more goldfish, um, apple cider vinegar. This is the one without the um, mother, so it, it's not for ingestion. I'm using it for fruit flies, actually, so I can stay there. Uh, banana chips, they're my son's. You have, what are these, fruit cups. <laughs> Um, they're no-go, too processed. Um, dill, for sure I can use that. Not the chocolate pudding. Unsweetened applesauce, the ingredients are apples, water, and vitamin C, so I can eat these. If you put that back in with all the other ones. Uh, gravy is a no-go. More pouches, some jello for my son, and craft dinner, pasta. And cheese, not good. So down here, I have dry mustard, which I can use. And then it's pasta, rice, chickpeas, some bread mix, pancake mix, bread comes, oh, sesame seeds. I have to look that one up. I don't know. Um, yes, I can use sesame seeds. Well, that's good. Uh, chicken soup. A whole ton of icing sugar I didn't use at Christmas. Um, chicken noodle soup, some cake mixes, and my absolute favorite seasoning is the Montreal chicken. And I'm, as I've said before, I'm keeping all my seasoning. So down here, there's a lot of um, coconut oil is allowed. Um, despite the fact that it's vegetable oil, it's very processed, so it's actually not allowed. Um, cocoa, baking cocoa, didn't even know I had that. Um, it's not allowed. This is a big bag of rice, um, so it's not allowed. Chocolate chips, nope. Matza, cranberries, cranberries. So cranberries I can do, because they're dried fruit. Um, lots of mix. This is a big bag of flour that I can't eat now. Uh, Kool-Aid jammers, which are for my son only when he's sick. And grape juice. Two bottles of grape juice. So that's it for my cupboard. I don't, <laughs> guess I won't be using a lot out of this this month. So, yeah, we'll move on to the fridge. So something I missed was my bucket up here, um, which consists of Mr. Noodles and um, oatmeal, and both of those are a big no-go. So I'll just put those back there for my son. So this is my completed shelf. 
of allowed other than the Gatorade. I'm just keeping those there because it's easy. And then my big thing of not allowed. So we're going to start on the freezer door and the fridge door. So the freezer door, there's some cheese, which is no frozen corn, which is no uh, freezy. Those are for my son. Some freezer packs uh, and English muffins, which are no, but my son's basically been living off of them, so they're his. Um, on the door here, I have cheese, which is no. Um, I have sliced and sliced olives, which are yes. Um, basically, everything else is a no. Um, so, like pizza sauce, uh, teriyaki, Caesar, caramel sauce. Um, down here, I can have the mustard, and that's it. So, I have like coffee creamer and some Walden Farms um, raspberry vinaigrette and strawberry jam, and that's it. Um, and then down here, the only thing I can have are the pickles, so that's why there's so many. Um, so I'll go down here. Well, I'm down. Um, I can have the celery, the broccoli, the olives, the water, obviously. Um, fix that. And there's some dates back there, which are okay. Um, in these drawers, I have some green onions, some carrots. Ow, my foot is clamping up. Uh, peppers, cucumbers, which are allowed. In this drawer, I have green peppers and milk. Milk is a no-go, but my son still eats it in his cereal. Um, so in this drawer, we have pepperoni, lunch meat, a yogurt tube, so, and some cheese. Oh, I never even got to eat any of this. Oh, well. um, which is all no-go. The, the deli meat is too processed. And the cheese is dairy. Um, on this shelf, I have some lettuce, some margarine, sour cream, eggs, more margarine way in the back there. Huge thing of cheese strings and more eggs. These ones are cooked. These ones are raw. Uh, the cheese strings are for my son. And so the margarine is for my son and the sour cream is out. Eggs and lettuce are okay. Here we have strawberries, which are good. Mayo, which is not back there is um, some ginger ale for my son when he was sick, celery and carrot, those are good, <laughs> relish is a no-go, yogurt isn't good, uh, this is just water to make um, carbonated water with, that's my son's juice, I don't drink it anyway, uh, this is half an onion which is fine, half a lemon which is fine, more water, milk is a no-go, another bot a little bit of water, some tahini, which is sesame, so that's okay, um, and sugar, which is no. So in the freezer, we don't have a lot. Um, lots of ice to keep water cold. This is a pie crust. That's a no. Um, right here is a pack of frozen chicken, which is good. Um, vodka, no. Um, these are frozen bananas, which are good. Uh, ice packs. We have some frozen sausages in here. Ooh, there goes the ice pack, which are okay. Um, yogurt tubes for my son, which are no go. Bread, which is no. Uh, battered fish is no. Green beans and Brussels sprouts are yes. Star Wars cookies are no, which is kind of too bad because they're really cute. Um, and freezies, which I bought for my son when he was sick. There are no as well. So this is my little freezer. Um, so that's some ground beef, which I can have. These are meatloaf muffins that I made um, and froze. Um, can't have them because of the onion, Lipton onion soup mix in it. Um, this is a big, massive bag of mixed veggies. Um, but there's corn, lima beans, and peas in it, which I can't, we can't have, I can't have. Um, chicken nuggets, I can't have them, but they're for my son. And here is all frozen fruit and frozen avocado, which is okay. And here we have more ground beef, more frozen fruit, and two non bread. Uh, I can't eat the non bread, but my son likes it, so 
uh, in here we have more frozen fruits, a lonely little chicken breast, um, some meatballs, which I think are okay, and some chicken fries that are breaded, so those are for my son again. I can't eat this. So this is my grocery haul for this week. Um, I went to Costco and Walmart. I'll start with Costco where I spent $71. Um, I got my favorite pickles because I'm allowed to have pickles, so I got my favorite ones. Um, they're $4.99 in Canada, um, which is actually pretty good for the size of the jar. Um, I got pink Himalayan sea salt, which is about six bucks. Um, I got this massive thing of meat. It was uh, it's about eight pounds of meat for thirty-two dollars, and it's uh, two so sirloin tip oven roast. Um, I also got a big thing of green beans. This is actually a microwave pack, but that's not what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually cook them. Um, and this is four ninety nine. I got this massive thing of spinach. It's one pound of spinach, and this was uh, three fifty. I got this nice big thing of raspberries. Um, I love raspberries, and this was I think five bucks. Um, I also got this really big thing of strawberries, which was five bucks as well. And this thing of blueberries, which is uh, one pound, two ounces, and it was uh, six bucks. A um, little pricey, but it's, they're not in season here, so I don't mind. Um, on to Walmart. There are some things for my son, as well as day-to-day -day things. Um, and I spent about $145 there. Uh, so to get out, out of the way, yes, a big thing of knockoff Rice Krispies. Um, this was about three bucks. Um, I got some green onions. They were 60 cents. Um, these are carrot chips. Now, I've never actually tried these, um, but I thought they might be good for school lunches to see if you'll actually eat them. A uh, big thing of parsley uh, because I thought it might add some freshness and a different flavor to salads. And speaking of salads, I got some sweet butter lettuce. Um, this is like one of my favorite lettuces to get. Uh, right here we have about five pounds of chicken. Um, each pack is $10 and has uh, about two pounds in each. Um, and there's five breasts in here. I got some pineapple because it's what my son requested for his lunch this week, so hopefully he'll actually eat it. I got normal baby carrots. I got some sandwich bags, so I, once the chicken and the beef is cooked, I can portion it out and put it in the freezer and then take out one portion as needed. I got two things of peppers here because I really need the peppers in my salad, and these were actually only $3 this week, usually they're about 5 so I was quite happy about that. Um, some foil so I can actually cook things. Uh, cherry tomatoes, which I love. Um, this is something I've never tried, but I was told that it was paleo friendly. Um, it's coconut almond butter. So I thought it would be good for dipping apples in, or bananas, or celery, or pears. Um, just as an extra protein and fat source, because um, taking yogurt and cottage cheese out of my diet, I've kind of eliminated a lot of my fat sources, so I'm going to give that a try. Um, some more sliced olives, because I like olives. The coconut, because I love coconut, and there's a lot of juice in it. Um, sweet potatoes. Um, I have a recipe that I'm going to try. I hope it's okay. Um, because I've never really been a big fan of sweet potatoes, so I'm going to try something different other than just baking them. Um, more Italian sausage. You saw this in my uh, freezer. Uh, so I got some more. And this is only nine bucks. There's 16 sausages in it, and it's only nine dollars. That's really good. And there's only 140 calories in each one, which is pretty impressive. It's the lowest one I've found. Um, Macintosh apples, they are, I bought them based on the size for school lunches, um, not on the basis of the size for what I would want, um, but they go in the school lunches.
Um, I bought three of these. They're olives. Um, they're just ready to eat. Um, there's no brine or anything in them, so it's just kind of cool. And they were only 97 cents, so I was okay with that. I got these strained crushed tomatoes. And the only ingredients in this is tomatoes and salt. So that's okay. I thought I could mix this in with the beef when it's cooking. Um, I got deodorant, a little tiny deodorant for in my gym bag. I got more hair ties because the girl doesn't need more hair ties. Um, and I also got this um, band-aid pack. Convenience pack. It has the wash, the polish board, and the band-aids because we're getting into play outside season in Canada, so there's going to be a lot of bumps and cuts and scrapes and bruises because uh, my son is a boy. Um, so I got some more classical pasta sauces. I got the roasted garlic and onion, and I got some more of the tomato basil um, because I checked the ingredients on the tomato basil yesterday in my cupboard, um, and I checked the roasted garlic and onion today in the store. And these were on sale for a dollar ninety nine and they're usually three bucks. I never buy them unless they're under two. Um, so I got four of them. Um, I got some cayenne pepper for seasoning. Um because I like things a little spicy and my hot sauce is now out, so cayenne pepper. I got some salted dry roasted almonds. Um because we're gonna go, I'm gonna go through that little jar really quickly that I showed you yesterday. Because it's actually right over there. Um, so I just picked up another little batch, and same with the sunflower seeds. Um, this one was is 500 grams, and so about a pound, and it was three dollars. So that's really good. Uh, I also got three zucchinis, so I'm gonna try and put these in my smoothie, um, as well as maybe some other things. I got lemon for in my water and. Um, for seasoning salads and stuff, because all my salad dressings are out now. I got pears, um, because they were on sale and I hadn't had them in a very long time, so I just wanted to have some pears on hand. Uh, this is a spaghetti squash, so we're going to try and see how it, if we can replace our spaghetti with it, because my son and I, we are pasta lovers. So I'm hoping um, that if I add it you know, a classical with some meat, so maybe some sausage. She might not know the difference. Mm. Um, I also got some more cucumbers. I had two in the fridge. Um, this is a butternut squash. I never actually had it. Um, I used to steam it for my son when he was a baby and he loved it. So I'm going to try um, baking it and see what happens. Um, let's see, I also got some red seedless grapes. They were on sale for two dollars a pound, which this twenty years is really good. Uh, I got two beef broths and a chicken broth because I already had one chicken broth, so I got some more uh, for cooking with. And now the bananas. Got these at Costco. Whoops, <laughs> Costco is over here. Um, but I got really green ones to have around the house, and I got some more ready to eat ones. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to put the majority of these in the freezer for my smoothies and maybe have one or two for the banana pancake recipe I found um, and then have these around the house for eating and to ripen up as the week goes on. So now on to the gadgets part that we bought. So I got this veggie spiralizer. It does zoodles, so zucchini noodles i'm hoping i don't know we'll see and this was i think four dollars um so that's not a bad price um and the big thing is set and forget <laughs> crock pot to cook the meat and to cook chicken and so hopefully that works out well. I really like it. Um, it was on sale for twenty dollars off, so it was fifty bucks. Um, I didn't buy it at this grocery ship, but I bought it for this idea. So we're gonna put this down now. Heavy. 
So that's my grocery haul. That's everything I bought to get us myself and my son through this week. Uh, hopefully the meat um, and the nuts and seeds go longer than this week. It should because I don't see me going through eight pounds of beef and five pounds of chicken in one week. Um, and the pasta salsa, so this should last a while. I'll probably just have to buy veggies going on. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Join us on our journey. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.